welcome to code with vinod in this video we will learn security group so let's go on uh, our ec2 instance so our ec2 instance is already learning and uh, here inside the security uh, we have security groups and also we can uh, check security group from here so here we have security group option and also we can open the wizard from here so security group uh, uh, contains two kind of rules one is inbound and second one is outbound so inbound control all the traffic coming from the uh, uh, outside and outbound is all the traffic outgoing the uh, let's say ec2 instances and let's say if i click on inbound rule so by default inbound rule contain these two kind of code 22 and 80 so 22 basically uh, it's a default code for ssh and 80 is default port for http so currently we are using http which is default port so let's say uh, if i remove this one uh, edit inbound rule so here we have uh, http so if i delete this node and if I refresh this and let me save this first and refresh this one so it will go inside the infinity because uh, we have uh, uh, stopped uh, we, we have closed inbound rule related to 80 which is HTTP so if I again add this rule so by clicking on this let's say edit inbound rule add rule so here we have option uh, related to custom tcp to allow ssh allow all traffic let's say http so again if i'm clicking on http so it will again add this rule and if i save this so here we we also need to allow the specific ip or, or all ip so 00, 00 means all the ip and if i again refresh this so it will fetch the uh, the data so this is the uh, meaning of uh, uh, security groups and in case of outbound rule so in the outbound uh, we are allowing all the traffic we are we are giving so let me uh, go on my instance these all all these are the uh, default uh, ec2 instances sorry a security group so if i go on my instance so here we can see we have security groups security group name let's say launch wizard one sorry launch wizard nine and so let's say we have one security group so we can add or assign this security group to other uh, ec2 instances as well so it's a part of networking so thanks for watching and in the next video we will see how we can connect our ec2 instances uh, to the uh, using putty uh, to the local so thanks for watching